Hey YouTube, Natchez860. Smoking a Savinelli pot with some old Joe Krantz. Drinking some Green Mountain Breakfast Blend coffee. And in order to tell my story, I have to go back in time a bit. And I'll also, uh, at some point during the video, put some uh, profile pictures of some YouTube presenters. Pictures that I took off of uh, Facebook for the most part. Back when I was growing up in the early days of television. There was something about watching the local uh, newscasters. Every night you'd see the same people. And uh, they sort of got to be your friends, part of the family as a matter of fact. And of course the uh, TV stations would, uh, would promote these newscasters with commercials and every once in a while there'd be a, uh, some kind of function in town where the newscaster would show up and do a public appearance and it was one of those deals, you know, uh, you felt, you really felt like you knew the person. And uh, I get that same feeling with the uh, YouTube pipe presenters. You know, you see the same people day after day. And uh, they almost become celebrities. Or they do become celebrities, really. <clears throat> the only thing that's missing, really, is the... Uh, the promotion by the, the news station or the TV station. A couple of things have happened recently that uh, have made me see this parallel to um, what used to go on on the TV stations and what goes on on YouTube. And uh, I should probably start out by mentioning that uh, when I first got on to Flickr, which is a, a site for storing uh, photographs online, I was uploading all these pictures that I had taken and of course you get to see how many people are watching your pictures and commenting on them and I'm no master photographer but I was taking some pretty good pictures I thought just wasn't getting anywhere with them I decided one day I wanted to see who the uh, the top people were, they were getting all the hits on their photographs. I came across these two people in particular. <clears throat> it was amazing. They were setting up uh, photographs like at train stations, uh, old industrial sites, uh, churches, cemeteries, taking pictures of themselves. And of course, at the time, I didn't know they were taking the pictures of themselves. I figured they had somebody taking the shots for them. And as I looked into it more, <clears throat> I started to learn about uh, 
you know, setting up the tripod, setting on the timer on the camera, creating your scene. It seemed really interesting to me. <clears throat> but I always had this feeling that the reason they were getting so many hits on their pictures was because, you know, they were good looking, uh, you know, and I just didn't fit that bill. So I sort of gave up on it for a while. And one day I said, you know what? I'm not getting anywhere. I'm going to try uploading a picture of myself. The first time you try taking a picture of yourself with a DSLR, it's sort of like looking at your back with a compact camera or with a compact mirror. It's like... It's almost impossible the first time you try to do it. I got more and more interested in it and finally came up with a halfway decent picture. I uploaded it. Within like four hours I was getting all these hits. I was amazed. Somehow I got over that whole fear of taking a picture of yourself. Started doing more and more of it. Getting more and more hits, more and more comments. And then I started with YouTube. Where taking videos of yourself is even more daunting. But to make a long story short, Recently, what I've noticed, hanging out on uh, Facebook, is you get more and more of the um, well-known YouTube pipe presenters that are coming out with these awesome profile shots. Not only promoting themselves really without even knowing it but promoting the hobby and it's even gone beyond that where without realizing it the presenters are actually promoting products which has some really mind-boggling effects if you think about it. I think here uh, what I'd like to do is insert a picture of one of my favorites, uh, ADZ, where he's got a fantastic shot of himself wearing a TPC hat. And uh, there are more and more, I think I'm going to upload uh, with this video probably like 10 or 12 what I consider really great examples. The more I saw these photographs, the more I wanted to do this video to encourage pipe presenters Take those shots, whether you're doing it with a DSLR or you're taking a frame off a video. I really think it goes a long way, not only in promoting yourself, but promoting, promoting the community. And I got to tell a story that happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. where Stash Warden had sent out uh, a bunch of YouTube pipe presenter shirts. And Ag's, Ag's Mom 1 uh, got a picture of herself with the shirt. 
and uh, I'm sure the meaning behind it was the same as mine. She wanted to uh, show Stash Warden that she appreciated the shirt, and you know, here I am in it. I want to put that picture right up here now. It was a great shot, and I figured for the hell of it, I'd share it on my page on Facebook and I got an unbelievable number of comments on it. <laughs> I'm talking like it was my picture. Um, not only that, two people asked for information on how they could get the shirts, which blew my mind. One click of a mouse. Not only did uh, Ag's Mom 1 sell some shirts, but I sort of sold some shirts. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. So, the reason, uh, like I said, that I wanted to make this video. was um, I get such a kick out of seeing presenters with uh, you know really good profile pictures and there's nothing wrong with uh, taking a picture of yourself with a pipe taking a picture out and the woods or a field or whatever. It's unbelievable how many people like to see uh, to see those. So that's my message today. Hope I made some sense out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good weekend.